half. Okay. Yeah, so you should get a Twitter notification here in a second. Okay. All right, and we're live. Awesome. All right. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Kevin Griffin. I am one of the co-organizers of Revolution Conf, and I am here today with Richard um richard taylor sorry I, I had another screen up with all my names and i looked at the wrong name so i almost called you something else uh richard how are you today i'm doing awesome kevin how are you today i'm well uh you're somewhere very exciting tell everyone yes, where I'm you are i'm actually um on the line from salt lake city utah i'm actually attending uh ng conf which is the uh annual international angular conference uh, that's uh, held out here for three days so uh pretty awesome pretty awesome folks out here the google team's here the, the angular team's here i mean it's pretty cool <laughs> so what's the what's been the best parts so far is this day two um, or day three this will be day two um, okay so um this conference actually is the first type of conference i've been to where um it's a single track so everybody's in a big room all 2500 of us and um, the talks are like 20 minutes long, and uh, uh, and it co it basically has covered everything from uh, the the project lead who uh, talked to us about where we are and where we're going, um, all the way down to specific you know code reviews and specific aspects of Angular. So it's it's pretty cool. I think the best thing really has been the networking, just meeting you know the people in the community. I mean, the community is very awesome. So. That's awesome to hear. Uh, all right, so let's start at the beginning. Um, Sure. Folks, so the purpose of these calls or these discussions are for our attendees or our potential attendees to learn more about our speakers and their talks uh, before the conference begins. It's kind of the pre-conference before the conference. And your talk is, so and let's not talk about your talk first. Let's talk about you. Um, okay. Give us your, your bio. Tell us where you're from, who you sure. work for, uh, family, sure. you know, any dirty secrets you want to give away. <laughs> Dirty secrets, I hear. Uh, let's see. Well, um, I'm from Huntersville, North Carolina, which is about uh, 10 miles north of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, and I've been there uh, for about 20 years or so. Um, and uh, my wife and I uh, live there uh, with our five kids. Um, ages ranges in age from 22 uh, as my oldest to uh, seven as my youngest. And uh, so I have that so much respect for you. <laughs> <laughs> that keeps us pretty busy, right? Yeah. So, uh, um, so I work for a company called Logical Advantage um, uh, here in Charlotte, and um, uh, what we focus on is uh, software development consulting. So we do um, architectural reviews, we do uh, projects for customers, we also do staff augmentation. We'll join your developer team and help out. So it just depends on what what's needed, um, but all, all focusing on software development. Uh, and I've been there for about two years and been really been enjoying it. So. Excellent. All right. So you you've kind of told us the present where you are. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of questions I get when I go to uh, different events is how how did you get to where you are today? What's your sure. what's your origin story? Um, how sure. did you start out? Get into computer development? That's sure. Sort of thing. Sure. Well, let's see. Uh, from a uh, just technology standpoint, I've been around technology for uh, at least over twenty five years. Um, my mother. Uh, bought me a Commodore 64 when I was in high school and um, actually a freshman in high school and uh, I tinkered with that thing and tinkered with that thing learned the simile language um, on my own and uh, built a uh, a uh, Galactica replica on the Commodore 64 from my own oh, wow. personal project yeah it's pretty cool so um so that kind of you know I bit the bug or at least the bug bit me at that point <laughs> and um and so I went on to school learned uh computer science and uh, got out and, you know, started my career. I started out and actually I started networking. So uh, back when Novell Networks were big, I was one of those engineers that went around and uh, set those things up. And uh, so I got away from development a little bit, but then I quickly got back and got into web development and uh, started, uh, actually started web development on ColdFusion, which I'm not sure if it's even around anymore. Um, uh, but it, it was is. like, yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Sadly. So <laughs> sadly. So uh, it's kind of like uh, kind of like ASP, uh, you know, scripting. Um, so I, I got into that and then ASP.NET and, and so forth and so on. And now I'm um, now I'm doing Angular. 
So uh, and using that to do websites. So it's pretty cool. So what's your your current ideal stack look like? I, we already know Angular. That much is true. But uh, what's what are you doing on the back end? Uh, let's see. On the back end, um, it, it depends on the project for me. Uh, obviously, you know, customers have different needs. Um, but I've, I've uh, uh, used Angular with the back end of uh, ASP.NET Core uh, hosting a web API. Okay. Um, recently, I've done that recently. Actually, uh, my reference application for my talk uh, at Revolution Comp, it has that architecture. Um, so I've, I've done that with, with the Microsoft uh, stack on the back end. Then I've also done um, uh, Angular using the mean stack uh, uh, with uh, Express and Mongo and uh, Node. So um, uh, it, it really just depends. I think my favorite is uh, uh, the Microsoft side because of the tooling. I think the tooling is a lot more mature. Um, but you know, Angular, it, it's it's uh, you know JavaScript. It it's I'm not say quite universal, but um, you know from a back end standpoint, as long as there's an API that you can talk to, it 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 works fine. So, so let's dive into your talk specifically a little bit. Um, sure. Your talk is titled Angular. You've talked about it. You've read about it. Now you're ready to build an application. Right. Um, absolutely. If I'm a attendee looking at the four different, um, I'm sorry, the yeah, the four different slots at your time, what what can you give me the the gist of that conversation? What should I expect? What level should I be coming in? Sure, sure, sure. Um, you can you can definitely be a beginner um, because um, the way this talk works is I'm actually going to build up um, uh, uh, as you. Uh, uh, Come to this kind of this actual uh, talk, um, and not having done any type of uh, uh, development with Angular, or you can be um, an expert. Maybe you can um, grab something new. But the idea that the idea of the uh, the talk is that uh, hey, you've you know this just thing out here, Angular that uh, that that's a, a good front end framework, or at least a a popular front end framework. Uh, I'll leave good to the judgment of the developer, but um, a front end framework that you can use to build you know uh, web. Uh, applications and uh, there's a lot of talk about it. it. It's it's very it's it's become very popular um, and not but not everybody's been exposed to it. Um, your shop may not use Angular, so it just depends. Um, so the goal of the talk really is to uh, introduce the the main building blocks of Angular and uh, and actually see those building blocks in action in the in actual reference app that we're going to um, take a look at um, and then. Um, Kind of launch you off into uh, uh, further study. These are the things that you, if you're really going to get into this, these are the things you really should um, uh, look at. But those main building blocks, which we're going to cover in detail, um, you can use those to actually build an, a real application. Um, and so that's that's the goal to get beyond the hello world type of application to something that is usable um, and can be delivered to potentially a customer if if need be. So. That's that's the goal of the talk. Excellent. Are we talking Angular four? <laughs> yes, I will be talking Angular four at this at this session. So, Excellent. Uh, it, it was released a couple of weeks ago, and um, and basically, yeah, that's that's where things are. That's where the hotness is. <laughs> so uh, we're currently in April, and Revolution comes in June. So maybe it'll be Angular five by then. And um, how quickly they rumors about, Yeah. Well, at the conference, we're, there's there's rumors about five. We're you know um, nothing official as far as the date, but uh, it will be sometime this year, for sure. Well, excellent, awesome. Yeah, it's really it's nice to have that background going in because um, a lot of people they look at Angular talks like, all right, well, I already done some Angular. Am I? Is this going to be too intro for me? Is it going to be um, too above my head? Uh, are you talking TypeScript Angular or? Oh. Yes, definitely TypeScript. Okay. Angular uh, TypeScript is, I mean, Angular is built with TypeScript and recommended by the tool by the team. Um, so yeah, definitely TypeScript. Um, but like I said, if you if you are a, if you're an existing Angular developer, um, it, you know this talk might be a little basic because uh, you, you're out there already building apps. But uh, but if you played around with Angular and now you just want to go to the next level, let's do something. You know, tangible that you know I could deliver to a customer or uh, deliver satisfy a requirement for my my job. Um, yeah, then this is the talk you want to go to. Excellent. Yeah, uh, I think one type of attendee we're going to have is 
the one who has heard about Angular, they've heard about React, they've heard about Vue, mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. really interested in knowing what should I devote my resources to. Um, right, right. I've like personally, I've devoted my resources to Angular because mm -hmm. um, I happened to be on a project back in Angular one days that uh -huh. I just got started with, and Angular two was like, all right, well, let me just keep doing this, and right. I'm at my point now where it's like, all right, I'm. I'm sufficient at Angular 2, now 4, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at React as just a professional curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, right. what, what can it do? Uh, so one of the things we really wanted to try to do with Revolution Conf is offer all, all sides of the puzzle. So right. your Angular talk is uh, complemented by someone else doing a React talk and right, right. around the same level. And they're not at the same time. <laughs> so right, someone right, can right. honestly go to uh, your talk and learn about Angular and go, OK, I see where this is going. This makes sense. Then they can right. go to React and say, OK, well, I see where this is going. It makes sense. Right. And right. They, they, they can go make their own decision. So I really right. I love talks like this where, they, where you show the basics, get people started. Um, uh, it's really should answer a lot of questions. So I hope uh, I hope people get a, a lot of value out of your talk. Yes, I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, at least if somebody's on the fence and needs more information to make a decision on which direction, I hope this helps them. Uh, that's the goal. So. All right. So will this be your first time in Virginia, Virginia Beach? Um, well, I, uh, from, a, from a technology standpoint, yes. Um, so this will be my introduction to the uh, Virginia Beach tech community. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, my son, uh, one of my sons, he plays Pop Warner football. And uh, we had a, uh, a regional championship game in Virginia Beach uh, in this past November. So that was that was actually our first time at Virginia Beach. So okay. I've been there, but not not for tech. <laughs> November, that was that's kind of the worst time to come to Virginia Beach. <laughs> yeah, it, um, it was it was kind of rainy and, and wet, but it was okay. We enjoyed it. So I hope your experience in June is radically <laughs> different than your experience in November. It should be sunny outside. Um, it should not be uncomfortably warm by that time. Uh -huh. But you're down, uh -huh. Charlie. You're used to warm weather anyway. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Looking forward to it. Though. Yeah. So what are you? Are you look, going to do any touristy stuff while you're in Virginia Beach? Um, I have not made any plans yet. So, uh, I, but I will. I will take a look at kind of what's what's you know, to offer. So, um, so we'll put something together. I know for sure my, uh, my son's coming, my oldest son, he actually, uh, was awarded one of the scholarships for Revolution Conf. So, uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, he's a senior at uh, UNC Charlotte and graduating computer science. So he's, you know, th this will be a big introduction to him about what happens in the real world. And, and, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And, uh, my wife will be with me as well. She travels with me all the time. So we'll, we'll figure something out touristy to do. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'm glad you brought up the scholarship. Uh, that's one of our, our favorite parts about running a conference is being able to give back to the community in some way, right. shape or form. Um, so specifically, you're talking about our diversity scholarship, which allows yeah, um, underrepresented uh, folks in the developer community to come experience Revolution Conf without mm -hmm. um, without having to pay for a full price ticket. Um, mm -hmm. So our scholarship is 100% community funded. And that means that when people buy tickets, we ask them, would you like to toss some money into the pot for the scholarship? And we've had mm -hmm. uh, dozens of people do that. And mm -hmm. because of that, we've been able to give away uh, several uh, different um, scholarships to folks. And we, we really don't ask for much. We just we just want to know people's stories and right. where they're coming from and what their ambitions are. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's really all you have to do to 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 get in the scholarship. And we award them on a rolling basis. So anyone who applies now, there's a fairly good chance you'll get awarded a scholarship uh, before the conference in in June. Uh, but I'm so excited. I didn't know that your son uh, was awarded one until this morning. Yes. Uh, but I'm yes. really glad to hear that. That's the system working. And yes, that's completely awesome. Awesome. And I'm so I will give you tons of recommendations for things to do in Virginia Beach. Um, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you're where our conference is. 
we're directly across the street from a national um, a state park and okay. there's tons of trails there's biking um biking trails walking trails uh, a lot of nature so if folks if folks don't want to come down and do the the touristy take my money stuff they they might yeah. like exploring the area there's a state park right across the street uh, awesome. our hotel does a regular shuttle down to the touristy stuff so if you want to walk the boardwalk um, okay you can just jump on a shuttle and and do that uh, so especially for you you're you only have your one talk over the course of two days there's plenty of time to get out and explore yes. the area yes yes we and definitely we, will we encourage you to do that and so and there yeah in the middle of june there's no shortage of things to do in virginia beach <laughs> awesome looking forward to it <laughs> let's see uh how about surfing i've never tried surfing we might try it <laughs> we have talked in the past about bringing someone in to give surfing lessons to attendees that and speakers cool. uh because our our hotel is literally right off the beach you walk out the back door you're All in right. the sand and <laughs> okay cool it's the non touristy part of the beach. Uh, uh -huh. It's a res it's really a residential area where they drop the hotel. And <laughs> okay. that really, that means all the tourists are several miles away and okay. we can really enjoy the beach and not have to worry about bumping into people. Uh, but we thought about bringing someone in to do surfing lessons. That's a good everyone. idea. <laughs> and I don't know if that will work out, but a lot of people will say, well, hey, going to Virginia Beach, I heard you have surfing competitions there. I should try surfing. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not a surfer. I, this is not a surfer's body. And <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm the same way surfing as I am with skiing. I just fall. And <laughs> so that's, okay. that's not fun to me. <laughs> um, so you're you're a veteran conference uh, goer. Uh, most all of our speakers are. So I always ask uh, speakers, if I'm mm -hmm. an attendee, and this is probably my first conference or I'm not, I don't attend many conferences, right. what would what recommendations would you give to someone whose Revolution Conference is probably their first conference? Okay. Um, well, I, I, I will say this. Um, I think the, the biggest misconception about conferences is actually going to the talks and focusing on the talks. Um, the talks, uh, the talks are are important in the sense of yes, you you definitely uh, 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 learn about a specific topic, uh, broaden horizons in terms of you know technology and things like that. Um, but I think what people miss is the networking piece, where you you know the hallway conversation, the uh, the attendee party things. Those things are just as important in my in my opinion. Um, because that's where you make the, uh, the the lasting connections with people where you can talk to them afterwards and ask questions and um, maybe even seek opportunities if you're looking to, you know, uh, make a change career wise. So it just it's uh, that that piece of the conference uh, experience is, <clears throat> excuse me, just as important as, you know, what you attend as a talk. So don't, you know, if this is your first time or you've only been to a few, don't uh, uh, miss the boat on that part of the conference and that experience. Make sure you're there. <laughs> Excellent. So what you're saying is, um, so you're, even as a speaker, you're approachable. I, I could just come up to you and say hi. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> even, even outside of the session, if I'm just walking around and you see the beard, hey, and the ball headed guy with the beard, just say, hey. You know, hey, I, I, I know you. I saw uh, you on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I saw you on YouTube. <laughs> and we struggle with conversation. And yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You're not bothering a speaker um, if you come up to them and, you know, ask questions um, or share your experience. Uh, uh, that's, you know, that's why they're there um, as well. So, um, yeah, the networking and the personal contact is, is, is important. It's important. Excellent. And so you mentioned uh, the parties. Um, and mm -hmm. so just to recap, Revolution Conf, we have two parties. We, we love right. parties. Uh, right. Our first night, our Thursday night party is actually our luau. We're going to take over right. the beach. Uh, we're, we're planning some beach appropriate food, uh, beverages, and anyone <laughs> who's an attendee is invited to, to come. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the, the big party. And then yeah, Friday night when you know, the last night of a conference is kind of magical 
because everyone's yeah. done. There's this sigh of relief. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> you're like, we, I don't have to do anything else. And <laughs> we, we have a happy hour set up um, where we're going to invite mm -hmm. everyone to come join us. And mm -hmm. we're just going to relax and we're going to unwind and mm -hmm. we're going to reminisce over the, the past two days. And mm -hmm. it's a great way to shut down a conference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know last year it went until about two or three a.m. Just oh yeah, oh, <laughs> these yeah. out of town conferences for folks they just stay up late and they yeah. take advantage of every minute. Oh yeah, but excellent. Uh, all right, it's self promotion time. Uh, do yeah. you have anything you like to promote or tell our our audience about? Um, I don't have um. Anything specific to promote? Um, okay. You can follow me. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle was Write and Code, um, and my uh, blog is www.writeandcode.com, um, okay. where I you know periodically um, blog about different technology things. Um, but I'm mostly I'm mostly on Twitter. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, you know if you have any interest in Angular or, or you know um, a prior exposure, you just want to learn more. Um, about doing some real things, you know, come to my talk. I, I really, you know, hope you get something out of it and would like to meet you. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to meeting you uh, again. Yeah, apparently yeah. we have been at the same conferences and are yeah, yeah. just yeah. went right past each other. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking very forward to seeing you uh, yeah. coming here in June. Awesome. So for mm -hmm. everyone out there, Revolution Conf, June 1st and 2nd at we're at the beautiful Wyndham, Virginia Beach in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, we still have tickets on sale, um, but go to revolutionconf.com and you can buy your ticket today and come see great talks like Richard's and yes. plenty of others. Yes. Uh, awesome. So thank you, Richard, so much. I'm going to update this sh uh, show description with all your information and um, I'm looking forward to June. Thank you, sir. Yep, same here. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And I'm going to go.